NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. And about 210 yards to the flag stick here on this par three. Good looking shot right here. And to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole, this for birdie. Locked in on the read and the speed. A birdie will send him to one under on the leaderboard. Getting ready to tee off here at the eighth. Frank, this hole has it all. Dogleg, bunkers, water. How do you successfully navigate it? It's such a pretty looking hole, Rich. That bunker down the left just sort of pops out and you see it. So you can either work it off that to the right, either that or just aim a little right, but be careful of those trees on the right. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in trouble. Not too unhappy with that, Frank, at 17 feet. No, from that distance, it's uh, more than good. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Just when you think you're gonna make birdie, now I have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. Right off the edge. Well, just a fraction softer than it might have, might have just turned in. Just the tap in to finish the hole. So with that, the score is now at even par. Rounding out the front nine here at Bay Hill, 474 yard par four, Frank. You, you've played this hole before. Where are you lining up when you step onto the tee here? There's an out of bounds all the way down the left side that you have to be cognizant of, but that bunker, 290 yards carries it. And yet again, another hole that favors the long hitter. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway, we'll settle. So a little slow out of the gates, but now Frank's starting to pick it up. Yeah, and into the ebb and flow of the game. We know you can't hit good shots all the time, so if you can just ride out the little bad patches like now, then things can still get up very quickly. See how they do on this approach. Just a couple of feet. Has the butt, and now at minus one. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? Oh, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Safely aboard. But well, he's going for back to back birdies here, trying to jump start this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Getting set now over the putt. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. Now to the 11th with water left, bunkers on the right. Frank, what's the key here? Well, too often people just look at the scorecard and they go, well, it's over 400 yards, I have to hit driver. You don't have to hit driver at 11. 
something in the fairway just short of that second bunker. And it sets up six or a seven on. Got the uh, measurement out there, Rich. Looks like 290 yards. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Beautiful approach shot there and a good chance to take advantage. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Just slides by. Yeah, can't afford to miss too many of those out here today. So they'll tap in. Nice par to remain one under. Seeing it up here on the 12th, 574-yard par 5, Frank. Another one that's reachable, obviously long and straight. That rough down the right side, though, is normally very thick. Uh, avoid the two bunkers, lots of contours and undulations around the screen. Now from a good position in the fairway, his second shot. So after the layup, Frank, here at the par 5 12, hit shot here, try to make birdie. Yeah, just use the contours of the screen. Uh, you can actually get to this flag a lot of different ways. Uh, using one of the mounds, there's nothing wrong with that. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under par. It now sitting at two under par for the tournament. Don't forget, second round coverage coming your way tomorrow here on EA Sports for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying so long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. It's second round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. That's a nice way to open. What's you need to watch out for here, Frank? Those two front bunkers, Rich, the one that protects the left and the right, uh, more often than not, you want to pitch the ball on the front of the screen. They are the two to be concerned about. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. That will be a great look at birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. That's not how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. Got it for par. Back to the second hole here at Bay Hill, Frank, long par three. And that green slopes so much from right to left, so you can actually use the contours of the green here. So on the putting surface and taking a good look now at this birdie putt here at the second. 
Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Came to the putt excited to make birdie. Now, a settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude right now. I've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there. Make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes in. Good putt. Now to the par four third, 434 yards and plenty of trouble on that left side. One of the hardest tee shots on the front side. Water very much in play down the left. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Just an ideal lie, Frank. What can he do from here? Well, if he takes advantage of the tee shot now and goes at this flag, then he'll certainly gain on the field. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on there. Easy birdie. Just five feet left. Frank, we haven't seen a whole lot of that, but no doubt it feels good. 561 yard, par five fourth. Frank, a chance to make four and maybe even an eagle three. Yeah, that green's just raised a little bit. So if you hit a good drive in there and you're going with a slightly shorter club, big advantage. That was just a beautiful drive and hit it solid and right in the middle. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. Frank, tricky little third shot here at the par five fourth. Especially if you don't have a full number, uh, because there's just that little mound in the middle of the green. If you get on the wrong side of that, instantly you can be 30, 40 feet away. So check where the flag is. Is it front, is it back? And then try and land it in that section. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Oh, how did that mess? Are you kidding me? I mean, that one was dead center. He has this for par. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Fifth hole at Bay Hill. Frank, this is a chance to employ some course management as opposed to maybe brute strength. What do you think? Yeah, rather soft par four. No water here, but uh, bunker down the left and bunker down the right. Pinches into that corner. So uh, if you're a little wayward, an iron here is not a bad idea. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That may be sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. Good looking shot right here. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Mm. This is an awkward length. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational.
That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, another good hole to par for 11th, looking at the second shot now. Yeah, the second shot has a similar look to the second shot at the third hole at Bay Hill. Water all down the left-hand side that has to be respected. And a green, really, where you've got to favor the right side, or at least right of middle. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. No putter, no problem. Slams that into the cup. Frank, now we're at the 574 yard, par five, 12. How critical are the par fives if you're trying to put a score on the board here at Bay Hill? The crucial, Rich, because the, the par fours are very, very difficult. So anytime you get a par five, really got to take advantage of it. Oh, nice little bounce forward. Should be close to 300, 290. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Back in 1971, Frank, Arnold Palmer won the event. That was eight years before he actually became the host. Beat one of the sweet swingers in the game, Julius Boros, by a shot. Yeah, Julius Boros is certainly a name to remember and a rhythm that everybody would like to copy. But, uh, you know, in the mid-70s, Arnold was just prolific. And uh, he, uh, he grew to really love and savor his own event. Once he put his name on it, the event just simply grew in stature. Getting set now over the putt. Goes to six under par for the tournament. What a display of golf. Par four 13th, Frank, you've played it on a number of occasions. How do you attack this hole? Really one of the shortest on the golf course, but uh, this is a fool's paradise here. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. Straight down the middle. Par 4, 13. Frank, how do you hit this approach shot? Rich, it's the first par 4 at Bay Hill where the water is actually on the right of the green, um, and that has to be taken into consideration. Just a little errant shot, and then you're going to be wet. So a little left of the flag, that's where you want to be. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for birdie. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Good par. Right now to the 14th of par three, and how difficult is this hole? Once again, very narrow entry into the green, so ideally you want to fly the ball a little higher than normal, make it soft, make it land a little softer. Midway through this back nine, could use this birdie here at the 14th. It's at sneaky distance. Needs a few more of those. That was a good birdie. Yeah, this time, that one gets him in the top 10. Frank, deep in the round at the 15th, you need to maybe make something happen. How difficult is that with such a huge dog leg here? Once again, make sure you know the distance to carry the bunker or run out. You've got to play to your strength. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. This is a good looking shot. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths.
just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Final round coverage comes your way tomorrow for our entire crew. I'm Rich Lerner saying thanks for being with us on EA Sports. And so long for now. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the Arnold Palmer Invitational. This could be a good one. Well, that's how you play the game, right there. Good birdie right there. Yeah, this game, when you can't win, it's all about top 10s, top 20s. And currently, that's exactly where they stand. At the 15th hole now at Bay Hill, this is a massive dogleg, Frank. Yeah, if you're a Bubba Watson type player and you can move the ball around, you can move it left to right, that'll certainly help the tee shot. Uh, if you're average Joe, though, just hit it down the left. Take your medicine. Frank, what are you looking to do with this approach shot here at 15? Anytime the flag's on the front, uh, Rich, it's basically green light special. When the flag starts to get pushed towards that back area of that green, it starts to get narrower and narrower and narrower. And that's where you've got to be a little careful. This hole really sets up well for the player. Brody yesterday, and a chance for another one today. Well, after that, Birdie has to be feeling as though they're not out of it just yet. They're not far away from the first page of the leaderboard. A couple more birdies. We've seen guys through the years blow the tournament right on this hole. Yeah, if you get a little too greedy here, you try and make eagle. Uh, <laughs> it's sometimes with a good tee shot, it's an easy four, but a three brings seven into play. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that tipped the 300 yard mark. Second shot. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Crucial eagle attempt on the way. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Kind of a tricky read. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for Birdie. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. And golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Nothing wrong with that par putt. Frank, this is a great hole through the years to watch when the pressure is ratcheted up deep into a round. That is all you want at more than 220 yards. Play slightly shorter because it's downhill. The bunker's on the left in play. Even the bunker short ride and of course the water, if you just miss it a bit, that's in play. And the green shapes away from you. This has to be the most difficult par three on the golf course. Yeah, tough break. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. He got robbed, Frank. No, it's like k kissing your mother-in-law. Frank, it has been that kind of a tournament. Another bogey. You know, Tiger was born on the same day as LeBron James, December 30th. And, and he's had his share of slam dunks, especially on the 18th hole here at Bay Hill. Yeah, he's just a perfect fit for the golf course. Um, 
You'd think every now and again he fears left, but he doesn't fear left at Bay Hill. Uh, we've seen his best golf over the years, over the last 15 or so years. To win there eight times, nobody's come close to that. Ernie Els, one of the great players in the world, has won it twice. Well, you can hear it right off the center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. That is a really good shot landing close to the flagstick. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Frank, how much does that birdie help the cause? Well, it doesn't look like much right now, Rich. Just sneaking inside the top 20. But at the end of the day, that might be the one that turned the tide. This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Today it's live opening round coverage of the Alberta Classic. Surely not. Birdie try up next. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just a couple of feet. Frank, you can see by the reaction, it has been that kind of week. Just a few too many pars. Action resuming early on the back nine. Let's go to hole number 11. Has not been a stellar performance to this point, but Frank, not too bad. Now, when you consider four-round events, Rich, you're going to have a period where it's a, there's a little lull. As long as you can minimize the damage, over the course of four days, it turns out all right. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. Good-looking shot right here. Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Starting to move now, Frank, on this leaderboard. Certainly going all in the positive direction. He's in the middle of the pack, now top 15. Frank, what are we looking at here at the par 412, 442 yards? Players are really focused on that bunker down the left side. That's the one that has to be either laid up, which would be 286 yards off the tee, or sort of worked off. Um, this could very well be a three wood off the tee. Just hit it straight at that left bunker.
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. These putts keep the round together. Just misses. Just when you think you're going to make birdie. Now, have to really concentrate on this and at least make par. With authority, count it as a par and two under. Par 3, 13th, it's 225 yards. Frank, you happy walking out of here with a three? Yeah, take a three, go to the next hole, unless it's match play. That's well played. Oh, good look at Birdie. It's no snack, though. Obviously, you can't make them all from that distance, Rich, but you'd like to give it a real good run. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That is a painful miss right there. And a bogey. Drop shot here at the 13th. Nudge this one home. Finish it up. That takes him to one under on the day. Well, here we are at the 14th hole. It's a par four, 442 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, but if you were spraying it off the tee here, then there's all sorts of problems. Bunkers left, trees right. Uh, this is a fairway you must hit. Oh, that's it. New member of the 300-yard club. Good poke right there. Frank, what are we looking at on this approach shot here at the 14th? This 14th green just built up a little bit. Uh, got to be careful you don't miss this green on the left side. Uh, it'll just kick all the way down. A difficult little chip up the hill. But once again, uh, the second shot's not too long. Good chance now after that approach shot for a birdie. Oh, he was so precise coming in, and the measurement is nine feet away. You can see why this player has been compared to a young Rory McIlroy. Featured golfer making birdie and now sitting comfortably inside that cut line. That appeared to be a good strike right there, Frank. Oh, good. It's just towering. Look at that hanging in the sky. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Should be safely on deck. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. And it's a long way to the hole from here, never easy. Very well done, almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. This would give him the par. Good par, good position on the leaderboard. Second round coverage coming your way tomorrow. For our entire crew, I'm Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navalo. So long for now.
presented by EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour. It's second round coverage of the Alberta Classic. Frank, with those snow-capped mountains in the distance, this opening hole is really a gorgeous getaway. You can kind of get lost to just looking out on the horizon. Yeah, it certainly is pleasing to the eye off the tee. You see the hole bending gently to the left. Bunker down the left, not really in play. Not the longest, but not bad. 295 yards in the fairway. Now the approach shot here at the par four first. Generous green, just a little bit uphill. Not minute, really. Big green to hit into, though. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. On the green, and a chance for birdie here on the first hole. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Well, Frank, it's our job to get excited. You can't. You can't when you leave it short, though. I'm sad. He's making my job hard. And getting ready for the putt. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Frank, how about the par three second hole? The first of five par threes the players will play today, Rich. This one's surrounded by bunkers, but uh, certainly one of the shorter par threes. So with a good tee shot here, you can imagine you could easily get a putt inside 10 to 15 feet for birdie. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. So a tester from four feet. Oh, man. I just pushed it. Boy, that hurts. So just a formality here. Did the job right there. Well, Frank, as we get to the third hole here at par five, it feels to me like you need to be at a minimum one under through the first three holes or you're losing ground to the field. You're exactly right. Chance here for birdie or eagle, too. This is one of those holes you can just wind it up and let it fly, and you'll certainly get a good reward with a big tee shot. Just a fine drive out there over 300 plus and in the fairway, playing his second shot here at the par five. Frank, he appears to be in control of his game in the early going. I like what I'm seeing out there, doing all the basic things at a very, very high level. Getting the ball in play, that helps set up the next shot. Next shot gets on the green, that's how it sets up the birdie putt. It's one thing leading to another. Opportunity missed right there. This would be nice, a birdie on the card. See if he can make it. Right off the edge, wow. That hurts. Even par, currently. Good putt. Well, Frank, no doubt this is one of the most photographed holes in, in all of golf. Yeah, Devil's Cauldron, just get to the front of the tee there, get the camera out, the vistas there are amazing. You see the mountains in the background. This green surrounded by the pine trees. Of course, if you like a, a, a lake or two, there's a lake just in front of that green. Just give you that little color of blue in the, in the uh, snapshot you're gonna take. I like to look at them, not swim in them. Certainly not fish golf balls out. That was cruel. It looked like it was certainly going in. Just ideal. Good speed on that putt and just a tap in remaining. made it. Well, again, Frank, we get that good mix of holes here. We've had a couple of par threes, a short par five, and that opening par four. Now at the fifth hole, 
424-yard par four. The first bunker on the right, not really in play for the good players. Uh, just being a little cognizant of that one on the left side, you know, and what club you want to hit off the tee. Um, ideally, that line is the third bunker, the one in the distance. It's a good line off the tee here. It should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Just an incredible shot. That is a very makeable putt after a great approach. Well played. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. It's cut for birdie. Frank, where is that thing? Yeah, thank God for small mercies. Well, that wraps up another round here at Banff Springs. Frank, what caught your eye today? Just the gorgeous scenery, Rich. Golf course not overly long, but uh, not often we get north of the border in, uh, in just an idyllic part of the world. We saw plenty of great shots out on the course today, and we're looking forward to getting back to the action soon. So for all of us here at EA Sports, this is Rich Lerner, along with Frank Nabilo saying, until next time. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live first-round coverage of the International Challenge. Boy, this one has a chance to be really good. Frank, this is a way to make golf easy when you can hit it that deep. Oh, I'm going to say, I know that first number's a three. I'm guessing the second one's a two. Let's call it 320. Oh, this looks like it's going to find the target. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, giving him another good look. Getting set now over the putt. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Coverage continues at EA Sports. Let's go out now to our featured golfer at the 13th. Just a mediocre first round up to this point from our featured golfer. Frank, what are some keys to making something happen down the stretch? Well, if this is the worst score that they shoot all week, I think that's one of the keys because this is a position to vault forward from. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. 
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Birdie try up next. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. You've got to be kidding me. That was right on the edge. I tell you, he wants to do over there. Well, not in contention, but in for par. Frank, what kind of par three is the 14th here? Well, you can get sucked in here, just 180 yards, which isn't considered that long. But if you look too much at the front of the green, you're going to see that's where the protection is. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Which has been a very good workmanlike performance. Get another birdie. Into the top 15 on the leaderboard. Frank now at the 15th, and how hard is this par four? The key really is to get the ball on the fairway here. Avoid those three bunkers, because this is one of the flattest greens on the golf course. Get the ball on the green here. Any putt's makeable. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Second from an excellent lie. Yeah. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Ball sitting down here, the rough. He's digging in. Now that is a shot that will be replayed over and over. So that concludes round one. Frank, what's the mindset after this first day? Well, the important thing is uh, just try and play smart, get a feel for the golf course. That's what you try and do on the opening round. And now that the players have seen it, we should see some better scores tomorrow. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the International Challenge. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. Good contact, good result. Frank, there was another playoff at Royal Troon 2004 in another case where a Hall of Fame player was beaten. That's right. That was Ernie Els versus Todd Hamilton. Uh, Todd Hamilton had won Honda earlier in the year. He'd left the Japanese tour, and he'd gone to the Open Championship actually full of confidence. But um, unbeknown to Ernie Els, he was uh, was going to be beaten by the use of the utility club. Remember Todd Hamilton, time and time again, when he would miss the green, would chip utility club and beat Ernie Els in that four-hole playoff. And now we see so many players using that shot from just off the green. Frank, that birdie will help the cause. Now the eighth hole, and if the wind permits, you can take some extra club, sort of get it up in the air and land it softly on the green. I guess the last thing you want is to come in hot and roll it off this postage stamp green. Well, you really don't want that ball going right either. Those two bunkers down the right side, are the, they're the deepest ones, and they must be avoided. Not enough on that one. Yeah, it just seemed to baby it. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Now, that's a good par there, Rich. Frank, the ninth hole, 423 yards, not especially long by today's standards. You're looking to make birdie here, or you're happy to make a par and move on to the back nine? Well, there's certainly a chance for birdie. One of the hardest things about the ninth is the raised green. 
Um, and it's sort of, there's two tiers here, just the top level. If that pin is on the top t top level, then you would certainly walk away with four very happily. Settling in now after that tough start. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Par yesterday, now for birdie. Well, that was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. This one just requires a little bit of focus. And he makes it for par. Excellent front side, trying to keep it going here on the second nine. He's just playing beautifully, hitting so many good shots, giving himself so many opportunities. Can he keep it going? They'll be pretty happy with that 290-yard poke off the tee. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Get down. Look out. It's over. The green. Just averted danger right there. So close. Why does he have all the luck? Makeable putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect. But it's going to hurt the course. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, they call the 11th hole here at Royal Troon Railway. Maybe I'm being negative, but, but I think it should be called course because that's all I can see on this opening shot. Gorse certainly comes into play right and left. Uh, the problem isn't bunkers here. 490 yards, often it plays back into the breeze. They'll be happy with that in the fairway. Now a good chance to attack this hole. Second shot. Just a pure strike and a perfect result. They'll have a good look at birdie now. These putts keep the round together. What a birdie. Now just a handful of players in contention. Back here at the 12th, and this is a hole that heads back towards the water. You might not see your tee shot land over the ridge in the middle of the fairway here, Frank, so what's the best strategy? Well, it's called the fox, and you have to be cunning like a fox here. This one has a slight bend to the right, and uh, a little like the previous hole, this is another fairway that certainly requires your best tee shot. Nice long tee shot there and a good lie, Frank. Second shot, good look at the green. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Regarded as a very accurate player, that shot says it all. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. He's got to put it together right now, Frank. Doing that trio at the top. Frank, right where you want to be at the midway point of a tournament. Yeah, you know your game's solid. Um, the focus is more on the leader and that you can just go out and play. You know, excellent position to be in. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present 
the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the International Challenge. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy, Birdie. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. This putt for Birdie. Frank, this is a good position to be in for a player. Making birdies, making some moves. We're starting to get the momentum, too, for the finish. Frank, we're moving inland now. And what are we facing here at this par 4 seventh hole? Just a dog leg to the right. Uh, ideally, just a little cut off the tee. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, this is just a pleasure to watch. A player hitting on all cylinders at the top of his game. Notice it's just flowing, too. There's not a lot of deep analysis going through his mind. Just one step in front of the other. If your swing's there, you don't have to find it. If your putting stroke's there, you don't have to find it. Just let it happen. Mm, just a beautiful approach shot. But well, he's going from back to back birdies here, trying to jumpstart this round. Some momentum moving in the right direction. That had to really hurt, Frank, because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Got it for par. Frank, the par three eighth hole, it is one of the most famous little holes in all of golf. 123 yards postage stamp. Pick the wrong club, though, maybe a little too much, and it'll be a green that you'll more than airmail. Often book sounds boring. This is just after and it's anything other than that. Spectacular. Nice birdie. Player is really on the move now, Frank, after a shaky beginning to the round. They've dug themselves in a little bit of a hole, but uh, they're starting to dig their way out of it. Great birdie. That sets up well for a chance at the green here at the ninth. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Well, you're not going to make that putt all the time, but you'd like to at least get it to the hole. If he keeps putting like that, he's going to be an announcer in no time. Not a problem from there, right in the middle. Frank, 10th hole, what's the best way to go at it? Well, it's a blind tee shot, so you've got to take it over those sand hills, but then you've got to hit the ball at least 260, 270 in the air. And then there is a run out as well, over 300 yards down there. I don't want to go too far off the tee. Frank, that is position A. Yeah, the tee, tee shot was like silk, Rich. I mean, just sets up that second shot so beautifully. This one's looking good. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot 
And now we'll have this for birdie. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Good try, just didn't quite read the break, Frank. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. They'll take it, that's a par. So through 54 holes, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, and those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich, um, they certainly have looked the best players this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real thriller. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the International Challenge. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Just a couple of feet. That's what you want to see right now, right there. Great birdie. Time running out, but still, he could get the job done. We'll see. Beautiful looking shot right here. Well, that's got to be 300 yards, isn't it? Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Chance for birdie after another solid approach shot and getting ready for the putt. A real out, another birdie, and nine under for the tournament. The back nine here at Royal Troon has only one par five, and here it is, Frank. 142 yards, you'd think it's reachable, but that burn cuts in at 280 yards, so it means you have to lay back. But I remember back in 1997, playing alongside Tiger Woods, still Green from behind the burn. That was some shot. You knew at that point he was something special. He certainly was. He then knocked it in from 40 feet for an eagle three. Oh, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. Set to go, not an easy shot by any means. Frank, not close, but from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent, seriously, given the conditions, Rich. Mm. This is an awkward length. You can't leave it short, Frank. Oh, and especially right in the middle. That is a solid par putt. Final par three here at Royal Troon. It's the 17th, and what kind of a hole is it, Frank? Well, this takes your best long iron shot. Normally plays back into the prevailing breeze. You miss the screen on the left, it will run all the way down the hill. The bunkers might look short, but if your tee shot isn't hit properly, it'll puff up into that breeze and certainly find a pot bunker. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. I thought that was in. 
Yeah, it looked good. I mean, line, pace, it's hard to be critical of that. Frank, a solid par right there, maintains his position. Frank, now the final hole, steeped in so much history. When you think about the legends of the game who have walked off this tee on their way to the Claret Jug, guys like Tom Watson, Arnold Palmer, Bobby Locke. If you've got a one-shot lead standing on this tee, somehow you have to avoid those four bunkers. Three down the left, one down the right, but a strip of fairway in between. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball, and this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Should be safely on deck. Wow, and with that eagle, Frank, now only two shots back. You know, all of a sudden put the name back into the mix just when we thought it might be too late. And that wraps up the final round. Just a great performance by our champion today. Couldn't agree more, Rich. Uh, I think this one will have to go down in the books as an absolute classic. Fantastic play, not only in the course today, but all week long.